Welcome back. Here at TV5, we aim to help answer your health questions. According to the American Cancer Society, there are more than 2.8 million breast cancer survivors in the U.S. In their lifetime, one in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer, making it the second most common cancer in women only after skin cancer. So today we'll be discussing the importance of early detection. Joining me now, former president and CEO of Genesee Health Plan, Linda Hamaker. Linda, thank you for joining me. Oh, sure, good morning. Yes, uh, you know, we hear about breast cancer a lot, especially during the month of October. Yes. Um, but you know, to many at home, that is likely a very shocking statistic. That is a very, very common thing. Mm -hmm. You know, so why are these health screenings so important for so many women? Well, you know, uh, as, as women, we are, um, deserve the right to have a healthy and long life. We raise our children and want to see our grandchildren grow up, and lots of times we're the center of the family. Mm -hmm. And we need to do everything we can to make sure that we stay healthy. And certainly getting a mammogram is a, a very important part of that. Um, the statistics say that uh, uh, mammograms pre uh, prevent about 27% of deaths from wow. breast cancer. So it is very important. And as you said, women, we tend to forget ourselves. We right? do. We, we do. get busy Take and care of everyone there's else. a lot of stuff going on in our lives and we sometimes we'll look at that calendar and see the mammogram on there and oh I don't have time to go but yep. it is uh, it is very critical because the earlier um, you get diagnosed certainly uh, you can uh, get treatment and the treatment is a lot less radical the earlier right. that you're diagnosed and the Another good thing about getting a mammogram is more than likely you're going to get a healthy, um, you know, bill of health and you're going to be told you're fine and it will, you know, sort of put your mind at rest. Sure. So now do you have any personal experience that you'd like to share with uh, these health screenings? Sure. Well, I am actually an ongoing uh, breast cancer patient and uh, I can tell you that I was uh, diagnosed uh, through a mammogram mm -hmm. and uh, it just happened that my primary care physician's office, uh, Jennifer, Dr. Vijay's office, called me and said, um, did you ever go get that mammogram we ordered back in May? And this was in October. And I said, you know, I didn't. I was so busy. And mm -hmm. she said, you need to do that because you have a physical coming up. Yeah. And it turned out she saved my life. Wow because I went for the mammogram, I received a diagnosis, and it turned out that um, uh, I did have a positive diagnosis mm -hmm. for a pretty aggressive cancer. Wow. So it was, um, I really give my primary care physician and that office a lot of credit. That's wonderful. Now, you know, for someone like yourself, when you get an abnormal screening or you may get an abnormal mm -hmm. screening. What do you do? What don't you do? <laughs> well, if you get an abnormal screening, all kinds of people are going to uh, be contacting you. Sure. Uh, you'll get, you know, generally the radiologist, generally your primary care physician will contact you right away and let you know we want to do an ultrasound uh, just to, you know, we're curious about what this is or it might be like in my case, you need to have, you know, uh, a biopsy immediately. Mm -hmm. So it's just a, a matter of um, what your particular situation is. But you will be notified and you'll be notified if it is not uh, positive for anything. Okay. You'll get a letter in the mail that says you are, your um, screening was fine, you do not have any um, indications of cancer and and it will tell you when you should um, get your next follow-up. So how can Genesee Health Plan uh, get women connected? Well Genesee Health Plan is uh, um, a very active in women's health and actually has a couple of specific programs for women mm -hmm. uh, and it, it, one of the uh, key ones is the uh, breast and cervical cancer navigation program and then the um, wellness uh, program for women that uh, that just provides a lot of um, health navigation mm -hmm. and resources for women not only in relationship to breast cancer but uh, two things uh, for all all kinds of women's health screenings. Wonderful. Linda, thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Oh, sure. And uh, you can catch Health Yes the second and fourth uh, Thursday every month right here on TV5 News at 9 a.m. But Linda and I are not done because we'll be doing a Facebook Live talk back shortly to answer any questions that you may have in real time.